OK. So moving on from the review, uh, one of the things that's been talked about before, that it, but that is particularly relevant for EQGL analysis, is minor allele fre frequency, or MAF. So as I was explaining with, um, with, this, uh, with this toy example, um, the major allele has a T at position 2, has a frequency of 60%, and the minor allele has an, a frequency of 40%, meaning that this is a relatively common um, a uh, relatively common SNP, or al the allele frequencies are relatively common regardless of which one you have. Uh, but there are certain uh, SNPs or variants that have very, very low frequencies. So they can get down to 10%, 5%, 1%, and even lower. You know, you could have even just one individual auto population um, that has that allele. And so for EQTL analysis, we usually use populations uh, and their population cohorts, meaning we gather a large number of individuals, usually in the hundreds to thousands, sometimes uh, hundreds of thousands, um, and look at their allele frequencies. And as the math will explain later uh, in this presentation, we can't really get too low. We, we lose a lot of power to detect, um, to detect these EQTLs. So Generally, the rule for minor allele frequency for studies that are in the, the tens to thousands, uh, sorry, the hundreds to thousands is about 5%. Um, some people go as low as 1%, um, and some people say that we should stop at 10%. But usually we use relatively common, um, uh, relatively common variants in these studies. <coughs> 